I talked to over 1,000 Amazon sellers to learn what I'm about to show you in this video. Selling on Amazon can be a competitive and complicated business that a lot of people fail. But since you're watching this video, I obviously don't want you to be one of those people. Today, I'm going to give you the most common traits and reasons for success behind some of the biggest Amazon sellers out there. So let's break down what these six, seven, and even eight figure Amazon sellers are actually selling on Amazon, how they're finding it, how they're making sales as fast as possible, and then how they're finding a ton of other successful Amazon sellers to talk to. So take notes on this video, go implement the skills, and then hopefully one day this video will partially be about you. So let's go ahead and start out by breaking down what you can even sell on Amazon and what a lot of the biggest Amazon sellers are selling, right? So I've got an example of a very typical Nike branded product in this example. Some name brand products, the biggest brands out there are typically what the biggest Amazon sellers, especially obviously resellers are doing on the platform. So stuff like this pair of slides where we can buy them going into the period of the year where it's about to get a lot warmer. People are about to buy a lot more of this type of stuff. We can get that exact same pair of slides over at finish line for 25 bucks. A lot of times you can also add some extra money with cash back, some coupons, all that kind of stuff. But worst case scenario, we're paying $25 for this pair of shoes, which leaves us with about $10 in profit after it's all said and done. And if you're confused on the actual step-by-step -step process to find these items, I have tons of guides on the channel breaking down how to find items, all that kind of stuff. So after this video, dive into that if you're not sure how to actually find winning items. But now that you know what a winning item looks like, let's start getting into some of the secret sauce that the biggest Amazon sellers are using, right? And to do this, I wanna show you an example of a product where you can basically figure out exactly how fast something sells because the biggest Amazon sellers are skipping test buys. They're not going out and buying five or 10 units of things to test it out, see how it goes. They have the confidence and they know how to figure out how fast items sell on Amazon, right? So to show you how to skip the test buy, I'm going to show you a super important feature of Keepa down here. If you are an Amazon seller, you need Keepa. This is $20 a month. You also need Selleramp, which is our product research tool. They're both 20 bucks a month. And so in this example, we can see that this pair of shoes sells 1700 times across all the different variations, all the colors, all the sizes, all that kind of stuff. But we can use a quick hack within the Keepa data tab. We can go down here to offers and then we can click include historical. And that's going to show me everyone who's ever sold this product. It's going to show me the price they charge. It's going to show me what their stock count was over time. And this is a really valuable tool that helps you skip the test buy phase of the item, right? Because the problem with test buying products is as a new seller, I know it's natural for you to be a little bit more cautious, see how it goes test the waters. And I think you should do that as a new seller. But the biggest Amazon sellers, they understand how much value there is in being able to jump straight into a sale by 50, 100, 500 units of a really good winning item. Because you never know when that price that you found a really good item, for example, this pair of slides, we never know when that price is going to go back up, when the coupon might go away, when cash back might go away, that makes your item no longer good. And so using the data offers tab can help you understand how much you can actually sell of an item. You can skip that testing phase and really start making money quickly, right? So for example, what we want to look for is stuff like this, right? So we can see on April 13th, they had 13 in stock right here that their price was $99. And at a price of $99 over the course of the next three days, they sold about 11 of their products, right? The same goes for a seller like this, right? So they had six in stock. And then a couple days later, they had one in stock, right? So a lot of these sellers, we can see right away, they're selling a few units a day, right? Let's check this one out. So January 22nd, they had 44. And then about two weeks later, maybe 10 days, later, they were down to zero, right? Or I guess in this case, one. So what we can see here is we can see real data from the Keepa chart that we can see lots of different Amazon sellers making anywhere from two to four sales per day. So instead of placing a small scared test order as that new Amazon seller of five or 10 units, a veteran Amazon seller would probably buy 60 or 100 of something like this because they can see that it's going to sell anywhere from two to four times a day, right? So use that hack, right? Here's another example with a different size on this listing. This is the nine and the one I was just looking at was the 10 and a half. We can see right here, we can see you know, April 7th, they had nine. A couple days later on the 15th, they had one left, right? They're selling like one a day. Here's another seller that was able to make a couple quick sales within a few days, right? So they're selling about two a day there. Another example here, January 26th down to February 26th, they sold about 90 pairs of this shoe. So here's another quick example where we can see multiple different people making anywhere from one to three sales per day. So if you're low on capital or you're not sure if the price is gonna hold out, maybe you buy 30, but you definitely don't 
want to be buying five or 10 units, testing the waters on all of your items forever. And the flip side is also true. With this exact same listing, even though this listing sells over 1,700 times a month, it's important to understand that the data offers tab is going to show you when these things do and don't sell. So if I include historical, I'm seeing literally no one on this chart right here that has ever made a sale on this product. We can also check variations right here. We can grab this ASIN, go ahead and punch it into the Keepa chart down here. And then that's going to show me that this specific rating or this specific variation has no ratings ever. So not a lot going on on the offers. I don't see any sales happening. And there's also no variations. That tells me that this is the type of product that you obviously don't want to buy 50 of, and you probably don't want to buy it at all. So that's the difference between what a good product is going to look like when you know you can buy a bunch of it versus when you maybe you have to be a little bit more timid. Maybe you do place that two or three unit test order. Don't buy it at all, that kind of thing. So go use that massive keep a hack and be able to skip the test order. Because especially if you're in the 10 to $20,000 a month range as an Amazon seller, that is the biggest thing that's going to get you out of it. And as an Amazon seller, hitting plateaus is perfectly normal. I see a lot of Amazon sellers get to that 10 to $20,000 a month mark, maybe even $30,000 a month. But then the next thing that the vast majority of successful Amazon sellers stumble on is the value of talking to other Amazon sellers. And I know this was true for my business. I was doing about $30,000 a month on my own as a lone wolf buying stuff here and there. But as soon as I started talking to other Amazon sellers, understanding how they run their businesses, me being able to say, hey, go check out this product that I bought. They're saying, hey, you go check out this product that I just bought. Everyone's making more money together. And one of the easiest ways to do that is to simply exist in public, right? So I pull up Sam. She's a great example of someone who is just doing a fantastic job existing in public, showing other Amazon sellers that she's serious about selling on Amazon. Because when you show other people who are serious about Amazon that you're also serious, they're going to reach out to you. They're going to show you what they know. You're going to be able to talk to people. And not only are you going to make more money and have a more successful business, you're just going to have more fun, right? Who doesn't want to have a business that they're having more fun running, talking to more people, getting to have more good conversations, late night sourcing sessions, all that kind of stuff, right? So what you need to do if you're a serious Amazon seller is set up some kind of basic social media like Sam has here. She literally just posts her progress, right? So I saw today she was posting about how she wants to take a ton of mini vacations every year. This is the goal for running her Amazon business, right? She's also documenting her growth as an Amazon seller, right? So she's not necessarily trying to teach the whole world how to be an Amazon seller, not making videos like this. She's literally just showing people, hey, I'm serious about Amazon. Here's some of my profit coming out lately. Here's my sales bars. Here's my reason why as an Amazon seller. Another great example of someone who just simply exists in the Amazon space and has a ton of opportunity because of it is Sadiq. Sadiq's making a ton of money as an Amazon seller, super young guy, crushing it out here. And he's doing the exact same thing, right? Literally just sharing, hey, I'm an Amazon seller. I'm going to the gym today. Hey, here's me filling up the car with packages, that kind of stuff. He was posting about how this was back in the day when he was first getting started, right? He's just simply ripping a bunch of stuff, posting pictures on Twitter and showing other Amazon sellers that he's serious about this thing. And I guarantee you that he got a lot of outreach from other Amazon sellers that want to work with him simply because he's existing in public, showing people what he's up to, right? Another quick example is my friend Patty right here. Super great guy on Instagram. He does a lot of like retail arbitrage driving around. I think he's also in Canada. He just posts stuff like this. Like I thought this was amazing. I love getting to see stuff like this. How he got to be at home watching his kid take their first steps because he is an Amazon seller, right? So if there's other Amazon sellers watching this type of content, they're like, wait, I've got kids. I want to sell on Amazon. I want to be like Patty or hey, I'm selling a little bit on Amazon. Let me talk to Patty. Let me share what I'm doing. He'll probably share a little bit about what he's up to and we can all make more money and connect with people who are similar to us because the type of person that might connect with me when I put out social media content is probably going to be a very different person from the type of people that connect with Sam, who's different from the type of people who connect with Patty and so on. Everyone has a very unique story to tell. And so tell your story, document your journey, and you will find other Amazon sellers who want to share the success with you. Another thing that the most successful Amazon sellers understand, and this is one of the biggest keys I've seen people scale to those $100,000 a month super, super quickly. A lot of the interviews I've done on the channel, they all have one extremely common thread. And that's the fact that almost all the most successful Amazon sellers, especially the ones who grow quickly from the start, are merchant fulfilling their products, right? Whenever you're selling products, here's that similar example to those shoes we were looking at earlier. Whenever you're looking for products to sell on Amazon, if you want to make your money off of them as fast as possible, you will merchant fulfill those products, right? But what the difference here is if we find this pair of shoes profitably, instead of sending it to Amazon FBA, where they're going to ship it off to the customers for us. We're going to list it via Amazon FBM fulfilled by merchant. Again, I've got a whole massive free guide breaking down fulfilled by merchant on the channel if you don't know how this works. But basically what it lets us do is buy items, sometimes even the same day, list them that same exact day, and then ship them off to the customer all on the same day as long as that sale happens, right? And what we need for that to be true for us to be able to make merchant fulfilled sales is down here on seller. We want to look at the buy box analysis tab. We want to go ahead and make sure that 
type is selected. And then when we filter by our type here, we want to see a ton of FBM sellers making sales, ideally recently too. So if we look at the buy box rotation, we can see that some FBA guys are making some sales. Two days ago, we had some FBM guys making some sales down here on the Keepa chart. We can also see that when we mouse over the Keepa, you can see that buy box price right there, seeing a ton of FBM on that buy box right there. And basically what that is deciding is who gets this add to cart button. And on a lot of listings will give nearly all the sales to FBA sellers. But as you stumble across listings, especially stuff that you want to sell quickly, really be able to compound that money and compound that money into a massive successful Amazon business, do it through FBM products, right? Because when you buy these types of products, you cut down your cash flow, where with FBA, you're typically getting your money back anywhere from four to six weeks. With FBM, you can get your money back anywhere from two to four weeks, right? So a lot of times it'll make your cash flow cycle literally twice as fast, especially if you don't have a ton of money as an Amazon seller right now. Consider listing as much as possible via FBM and you will make way more money as an Amazon seller. But I really just want to share the most common traits of success that I see for a lot of, especially Amazon sellers that grow quickly. And those three things are definitely what sticks out most in my mind. And as you keep scaling your Amazon FBA business, please go implement those things. You will grow faster as an Amazon seller. And since you made it this far into the video, if you want some more sauce on how to actually find winning products to sell on Amazon, I'll leave a video right here that you can go watch. But if you did get value from today's video, please feel free to subscribe. That helps me out for sharing some value with your business. Also, feel free to comment all that good stuff. That helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Let me know if you have any questions down below as well. But I really appreciate you watching this video and I will see you next time.